New Year's Eve into New Year's Day, I just had another gallbladder attack and I realized I was gonna have to have surgery. There were nurses with all kinds of papers I had to sign and consents they had to go through to make sure that I hadn't eaten or what allergies I had or what kind of pre-op I had. They prepped me in the pre-op area and when I was all ready, they pushed me through the double doors into the OR and it was, it wasn't anxiety, but it was an excited feeling. As I looked up, I could see the robotic sign over the double doors. As I was laying there, I could hear the scrub nurse. She got me a warm blanket and she held my hand and she said, we're gonna take good care of you. My neighbor asked me, she's having some gallbladder issues too, and she said, so why, why did you go to Orlando, our campus? And I said, well, I work there. I feel comfortable there. I know how things are run there. I do love my job. I am here because of the team that I work with and the leaders that I work for and every day to just ensure that our patients are able to come in and have their procedures and go home feeling better. I have recently retired. I was the robotic coordinator. So training people and working with surgeons, making sure that they had what they needed for their cases. Kathy was a coordinator kind of behind the scenes, making things happen. If she wasn't there, you knew it. Not because you didn't see her, but because things weren't going as smooth as usual. You know, she, she was very instrumental in just keeping all the parts moving and working together. My whole team, we worked together to make it a, a good experience during a bad time for people. And hopefully those people went home feeling good that they were helped and it was a benefit, that it wasn't just a surgery that they had. It was a good time in their life when they were really treated well and taken care of. When I was in college, I had an ovarian cyst and the doctor did a laparotomy. He op actually opened me up to take it out. That was the first procedure that I had. It was rough and it took probably four or five weeks before I got back to where I was feeling good. When a challenging case comes in, I'm always looking at it as a minimally invasive surgery first. When I started as a nurse, I believed that doing open surgery was gonna be the way it was for my whole career. And I never expected to see robots of any type assisting us. Sometimes the patients didn't even realize that advantage and the benefits they had because they'd never had surgery before or they've never had an open surgery before. So they didn't realize how fortunate they were to have the opportunity to have such a complicated, awesome Da Vinci surgery. These robots are an important part of what we do every single day, and that enables us to provide great care for them. I could hear click, click, beep, click, click, beep, and it was the robot. It was like, this is my home away from home. I was there in a different capacity, but I wasn't nervous at all. 